All right, so positive moves and positive brokerage notes also coming in on Imami today. Stock also holding up pretty smartly. Let's uh, get it back with the technicals then. And Sneha, Asian Paints is the next stock on your radar. Now, when I take a look at the six months performance, it's not done much. It's been rather flat. It's down by 9% on a six month basis. Do you feel like this uh, slight dip uh, has created a good chance to buy the stock now? What are the next levels that you're watching out for? If you look at the overall chart structure, uh, it's been quite some time that this counter has been consolidating. On the higher side, uh, 2000, uh, 20, uh, 3,000, 2300, uh, and uh, on the lower side, I believe uh, 2,670. That is the zone wherein this counter has been trading. And off late, if we see uh, the daily chart, we are seeing this counter consolidating in the range uh, near the 89 EMI. So I believe one should keep a close watch on this counter. Any move beyond 2009, uh, 30 on the closing basis, I think uh, it will be an opportunity because after such consolidation, if we see any breakouts, uh, we, we normally see a nice momentum coming in. So uh, keep a watch on this. Uh, Asian paints for that matter, Berger paint also has a same chart structure. Uh, Sneha, when you talk about DLF, uh, you know, we have looked at DLF, the real estate sector, that was surely buzzing away. But in the last one month specifically for DLF, if we pull up one month, we have seen a bear of a decline for DLF. You know, that correction that we are seeing today, also the stock is down. Is it the right time to buy or maybe now it's going to get into the consolidation phase, a correction is what one could expect? See, I believe uh, this counter has given a strong move. And we have been seeing uh, consolidation since quite some say, uh, time. Uh, I think there was a support around uh, 810, 815 odd levels, which this counter has already breached today. So I think we may see further selling coming in. Uh, so uh, possibly we can head towards, say, uh, 7, uh, 770, 760 odd zone. So if anyone is holding any long, should, you know, uh, Think of exiting their position and someone who is looking to you know add this counter should wait for the lower levels and then take a fresh breath okay keeping an eye out over there for dlf on those levels there let's move on talk about coming watch out for today and uh, when we have more details we need tomorrow as well but uh, let's move on and talk about sbi on the technicals then sneha so uh, what are you uh, spotting when it comes to sbi last six months quite decent growth coming in 45% growth in the last six months itself. Do you still see some upside when it comes to SBI or are you penciling in some sort of slowdown, some sort of consolidation going ahead? If you look at the chart structure, it is very strong. Uh, we have seen a very strong up move. In fact, this counter has been trading above the 20 demo on the daily chart since quite some time, which is said to be very uh, positive. Uh, for now, I believe uh, 840 is the resistance zone. But uh, the kind of uh, strength we are seeing in banking index, I believe any further strength uh, would, you know, help SBI also to come above 840. So, in, uh, need to keep a close watch on this. Any move above 840 will trigger some uh, sharp momentum in this counter. So, with a strict stop loss of, say, uh, 840, one should, uh, 814, one should go long uh, for the target of at least uh, 860, 870 zone. Okay.